The history of friendships, and in a sense rivalries between UK and Russian members of the artistic communities, has been unfolding for a few centuries. This week, as our country is joining the celebrations of Shakespeare, an exhibition of late 19th and 20th century Russian artists has opened in London. Our correspondent reports from the scene. Come for a short stay and never leave. Russian art has built a home in London, a second home at least for 19th and 20th century paintings. For example, the Banqueting House, itself a symbol of the United Kingdom, now accommodates a part of the Russian Art Fund's collection. Only the very heart of London will do for an exhibition of Russian pictorial art. I buy works of art outside the country, those that have already left. Essentially, I consolidate various collections, since all these works have been bought in different countries. The fund's previous exhibition in Abu Dhabi had to be extended by six weeks. Lovers of Russian art were drawn from all corners of the Middle East. The British have been luckier. They've been treated to the cream of Soviet pictorial art more than once. The very idea of the fund, from day one, was to attract international art lovers to Soviet art, now to Russian art as well. Here we see 10 from the fund's more than 200 masterpieces. They include Philip Malyavin's graduation work, a daring and glowing painting by Nicholas Rurich, and several by Nikolai Fechin, who earned renown in the US in 1924, but was shunned in the Soviet Union. His style is a kind of synthesis of European art and Western art. For example, we see a great impact of the French Impressionists. I think art lovers from France and the UK will be delighted with these works that are so close yet unknown to them. Art is both abundant and diverse in Britain's capital. In the 20th century, London was regarded as a theatrical centre, the birthplace of fashion, literature and art. The British capital's museums are world famous for their impressive collections and exhibitions. Very soon the masterpieces will move to a new space, to the historic Tower of London, a fortress erected as far back as the Norman Conquest. Works by Russian artists will spend two weeks here, among the heavily guarded treasures of the British monarchy. The tower is 950 years old. It has seen the executions of monarchs and commoners alike. Now it's a museum, and indeed a very friendly one. The British love experiment. They always keep their eyes open for new things. And most importantly, the Russian organizers of the exhibition went ahead and did it. Considering the high level of our experts, I think everything will turn out just fine. This week, the fund's collection found a permanent address. The exhibition and the entire collection will move to Lord Montague's estate. His hospitality will be extended for 12 years.